finding finance is a mistake? Oh, it can be. Um, you know, uh, statistically, it's uh, I think right up there as far as what breaks couples apart. Um, so I, I think maybe a good compromise is you have an account of your own, and then maybe you have a mutual account where some of the common expenses come out of. Um, but uh, yeah, it's tough. Somebody wants to know what your favorite quality about me is. It changes, but it changes, eh? Sure. Yeah. No, right now, I mean, the only thing I want from her is peace. So if she gives me that, and that's that's all I need right now. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. No. Because you can't know people. You can't know people, and love is only when you know somebody. You can be intrigued and think that this is someone I want to know more. So, you know, I think you can have a real connection um, early on, but I don't think it's love. Right. You know, because love is also when that person disappoints you and you still want to be with them. <laughs> that's, more, that's more love than, hey, I think they're great. Yeah. And I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with them yet, but I love them. That's not love. Uh, how long should exes just, after how long should exes just stop trying? I don't think there's a time frame. Um, I think people should try harder if there's kids involved. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I, I'd say maybe a year, but that's nothing set in stone. Somebody said get yourself a man who can't get enough of you. Um, well, that's nice. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary though. All right. Right. Um, you know, uh, it's good for each partner to have some of their own interests, you know, mm -hmm. if, if all they want is to be with you all the time, you know, that can create problems as well. So, um, right. yeah, I don't know. I don't overdose on you, I guess. <laughs> uh, how to get a man to appreciate you more? That one's for you, baby. Well, um, certainly with us, it was less fighting, um, mm -hmm. accountability for your own emotions. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, for me, that those were the, the biggest things. And then anything extra you do is, is just fine. You know, yeah. everything helps to better a relationship, so. What if the conflict is gone and he's a generous long-term thinker, but there was past cheating? In the current relationship? Yeah. Conflict is gone, he's a generous long-term thinker, but there was past cheating. Oh, uh, from him? I guess so. Well, that's, that's hard to overcome for sure. Um, yeah. You know, I guess he can uh, make every effort to uh, keep you... Uh, informed and uh, you know until you can trust him again to just be out on his own and not check mm -hmm. in with you I mean I guess it's his responsibility to make sure that uh, you feel secure because he created the problem yeah um, so um, and I guess on her part then make sure if you're going to be upset about something it's not because you've made it up in your mind that it could have happened you know make sure you have uh at least some grounds for um creating a conflict all right mm -hmm. do you think partners should be each other's best friends certainly ideally um but uh you know the dynamic the emotions of uh, marriage or relationships certainly interfere with that because a lot of the expectations of your partner are, are nowhere as close to what you would expect from your friend mm. and um you know so expectations um you know put, play a vital role in in your relationship and um you know if you don't get to the, that place where your expectations are met then a lot of people find themselves angry and resentful and spiteful and all that sort of thing so mm -hmm. um you know realistic expectations i think are important 
Uh, how to tell a partner they need to be responsible for their emotions without coming across as insensitive. That's tough because I think I said those very things to you for a number of years and I don't think you heard me. <laughs> and then he'd say the truth hurts. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, you have to have somebody who um, understands that they might uh, at least play a part in the problem and that they may need to work on themselves first before you can fix uh, your relationship. Right. Uh, but no, it's it's not easy to do. That's one of the reasons why we fought for so long, I think. Somebody says they just got dumped and blocked and they don't know what to do. Mm. What's your advice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, definitely give some room, I would say. I mean, there was a time when you said back off. Um and uh, I gave you some room and then you came back to me and I, yeah. that might have worked the other way as well. Right. Where I, I don't think, yeah, I, I, I did say, leave me, <laughs> leave me alone for a while. And uh, you gave me some space as well. So yeah. Um, yeah, they have to stop being very angry at you, which they, they are probably angry or hurt or whichever it is. Mm -hmm. And um, only then they might be interested in listening to you again. Uh, and but yeah, I would say give some space, which is hard because then your your mind starts wondering, uh, you know, what are they doing? Are they seeing someone else? Am I losing them? You know, it, uh, it can be torturous. But uh, I would say yes, give some space. And uh, if you aren't perfect, then I would say work on yourself. Uh, because if you do want to get this person back, um, you got to give them a reason why. And if, mm -hmm. if the reason is because you have bettered yourself and, um, you know, you're, you're something worthwhile going back to, then um, you at least have a chance. But regardless, if you better yourself, then you just better your chances of finding someone else. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Level up. Uh, did you guys have to learn each other's love language or both just have the same? You definitely had to learn mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you had to learn mine too. Not really. Um, like, I mean, no. Like, you had to learn why I was upset. <laughs> but <laughs> you had to learn well, why I was upset. But I didn't force you. Like, I didn't force you to be a words of affirmation person. Um, no, uh, you didn't. Um. I didn't uh, value them that much. Mm -hmm. To me, they're they're the cheapest of all the uh, things you can give. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, good point by you. Yeah. Why are words cheap? Well, you can come up with them in an instant, and um, often they hold no value. So, uh, see, I. He, do you, do you hear what he says about words of affirmation, how he feels about words of affirmation? I can try and force him to be a words of affirmation person, but it's just not going to be genuine because that's just not how he functions. He would rather show me his love through physical affection. He would rather show me his love by changing my tires, which he did today for me, <laughs> right? Um, and I'll, I'll also say that... Uh, of course, when you were looking for those words most of all, I had serious grievances. And I was you insecure. Know? And those were the words that were at the top of my list was, hey, I'm not happy about certain things. Yeah. You know, so when I'm thinking about what to say, all I can think about is what I'm unhappy about. Right. You know, but then there's also yeah. another aspect where, and, you know, this is where men and women differ. Um, of course, when men are tired and especially at the end of the day, which is often when you see me, okay, now I got to decompress. And this is when you're looking for me, you know, to, um, give you something yeah. and I'm just trying to shut down, you know? So, yeah. and that's, that's often the way men are. So yeah, yeah, it was, it was a lot of things working against us. Yeah. I'll also say, um. Mm -hmm. You know, when I I was more vocal and had words earlier on, but then as the negativity started to fill up the relationship, of course, it, it shuts it shuts you down. Yeah. And then by the time we started getting good, you're already now 
willing or not willing, but uh, are able to translate everything and you're not needy for those things. Right. So, you know, and no, I, I agree, is, I guess is what I'm saying is you should make an effort to speak their language. Um, you know, so it wasn't mm -hmm. that I wasn't interested at all in trying to, but I was very overwhelmed with the negative aspect. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's not that I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, it wasn't working. I had trouble at the time. Mm -hmm. Advice when a guy shows he cares when he's in person but withdrawn doesn't text when he's not somebody who doesn't text much well you know men are often single-minded and we're occupied with whatever we're doing and um kind of going back and forth is somewhat annoying you know right. we like to right. focus on one thing and and do so, that what are signs he's losing interest especially in long distance relationship how do how do guys show that they're losing interest I guess when their um, their habits change, their personality changes, and uh, yeah, they become more distant, uh, less active in that relationship. So, is it okay to demand your place in someone's life? Ooh, baby, you get that one. Do I? Yeah. Um. Well, I think uh, that can vary depending on the situation. Um, like, let's take our situation where you came into, okay, we came together and I, of course, had a, uh, an ex-wife and children and they were young and we're raising them and we're working closely together. And, you know, you were struggling to find a place in my life and... I were demanding at times and I was very clear like you're over here right now you know you have to wait your turn I'm raising my children that's the the priority um so demanding your place I guess that has to be justified you know you had to wait and when the time came then of course you had to have your place and that's only fair um, so it depends. Yeah. It's the best I can do. Why do exes change completely when they get into a new relationship? Looks and all. <laughs> Looks and all. Um, David, you want to answer that one? Well, it takes a, a lot of work to always present your best self. So mm -hmm. when you're in a relationship, you, uh, try a little less hard because it's too much effort to constantly be that way. So you get into a new relationship, you want to put your best self forward again. And uh, so that's what you do. All right. And that will fade again if they ever get serious. Baby, what do you think of that rule? I think it's very helpful if you're looking for a long-term relationship. If, if you're looking to roll the dice, or and you look at it as well maybe it'll turn into something maybe it won't i don't really care we'll see what happens go ahead do it um, but uh if you're really looking for uh a marriage or long-term commitment um maybe you should try it um it definitely uh, adds a layer of clarity um you know lets you see what else is going on uh, rather than be preoccupied with the sex and uh you know it distorts your perception of what's going on uh somebody said how do you convince your significant other that breaking up isn't what we need <laughs> i think that's more yours but uh oh. I, I think I heard you um, talking to someone else about, or maybe you're just telling me about a plan. You said uh, to the one person is going to present the plan going forward of how they're yes. going to change and, um, you know, give the other person a reason of why. And I, I said yeah. the same thing. You said the same thing to me at one time. And yeah. I said the same thing to you at one time is why, why 
is it going to be different if we get back together? And at one time I had to tell you why it was going to be different and lay out a plan. And then at one time you had to do that for me. So Mm -hmm. um, that is perhaps the way. It's like whatever, whatever differences we do have, um, we just don't feel the need to change the other person. Would you agree about that? Um, yeah, well, yeah, that's exactly it. I mean, you can get along with all sorts of people and, uh, you know, the world is full of different people. And if you want to pick a fight with everyone who has a different view, then you'll never stop fighting. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. As somebody said tips for self-love, what are your tips for self-love? Well, I think you have to understand yourself first and admit your faults and understand your strengths. Um, I'd say the one thing I did Jay, at some point Stephanie. was to look at the people in my life, whether they were personal or even public figures, and understand what I respected about them and liked about them, and then said, those qualities, I want those qualities to be my own. And I started working towards implementing those qualities into my life and into my personality. Um, yeah. You know, once you become the person that you aspire to be, then self-love is easy. I also want to know if you separate from a spouse, what the potential is to make it work again. What is the potential to make it work with somebody after you separate from them? Well, you certainly have to be able to let go of what happened. Um, to be able to let go, you have to see change. You know, that's exactly what happened with us too. I wanted to see change and certainly Chantel did too. You know, we couldn't continue our relationship the way it was. So um, if you see change, and you can forgive what happened, then I think you can go back to a relationship because people do grow. And, um, you know, someone who may not have been right for you, uh, you know, earlier on, they change, you change, and now all of a sudden they are right for you. Um, so I do think it's possible, you know, really our, our own relationship is that example because, uh -huh. you know, I think we were both done on at least one occasion. Yeah. And we came back to it, so. Why are you opposite of words of affirmation? Um, because I think it's the potentially the least genuine. You know, words to me are cheap. Anyone can say them. And they're often said without any true meaning behind them. And often people will say things, express love, commitment, and then just as easily they'll say the opposite words. I'm not in this anymore. I don't love you anymore. It's so easy to um, flip. So to me, they're of the least value, mm -hmm. personally, anyways. Well, and actually, that's one of the reasons why I gave up on the relationship, I would say, is because I'm like, she does not see me. She does not appreciate what I do for her. And I don't believe that she can understand it. You know, she has shown me that. So, you know, the fact that you were able to um, do exactly what you said is translate. Mm -hmm. um, that changed a lot. Yeah. Um, and somebody asked, does he also translate your love language? I'm going to say no. <laughs> what do you say? I think I absolutely see everything you do all the time. I don't always acknowledge it, but right. I see it. When when you when you say do, what do you mean by do? Well, you're uh, the way you express oh, love to me. Right. I, I, yes. Yes. My acts of service. Sure. I, I do. And what you say, and what whatever the case is. Oh, what I, I say too. Sure. I, <laughs> sometimes it might it might seem like I'm not paying attention, but I am. Right. <laughs> uh, so, are my words of affirmation meaningful to you? Um. The, not the word specifically the act of you doing it uh, because I know why you're doing it but the word specifically no like even if you say uh, I'm a good person or a good husband uh, you know um, when we were in therapy at one time um, the therapist I can't remember what the conversation was but I said I don't have that problem I said I don't care what people say about me I said whether they say something good or say something bad 
it means nothing because I know who I am. I know my strengths and my weaknesses. And sometimes people will pay me a compliment and I say, you don't know me. <laughs> I could be horrible. <laughs> you know, I know who I am. Um, what was the question? Uh, if my <laughs> words of affirmation are meaningful. Right. Yes. Um, so only in the fact that you're doing it and I know why you're doing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I learn something new every day. Oh, so what's your answer? How do you get a guy to own up to it when you're when he's wrong? Yeah, I I don't know that you easily can. Um, if it's going to happen, it'll probably happen um, really uh, by his own. Is it volition? Volition. Yeah. Volition. Um, you know, you can present your opinion, and then if they determine that they were wrong. They might come back to you, but you trying to force them to, um, I always had my answer was um, to, I was wrong. I'd say, I'm left. <laughs> <laughs> so did you, did you notice my behavior changing? Um, certainly once you started meditating. And then it's been a progression all along. Okay. So, yes. Yeah. What was the change you noticed? Well, less reactive, um, certainly, and less blaming, I suppose. Um, you know, having, uh, taking responsibility for your own emotions um, and dealing with them and not vomiting, as you say. Right. Um, yeah, and then, of course, appreciating what I did, understanding, you know, like I say, translating um my language into yours and um you know so a lot of things mm. uh so we said is it normal to have distant days in relationships i think so what would cause distant days um well i think um perhaps whatever's going on in one person's life if they're you know, in my situation early on, I had a lot to deal with. They're raising kids, um, you know, working with an ex-wife and running business, dealing with employees. I mean, sometimes I just didn't have enough energy left at the end of the day for much else. And uh, so that would be a distant day for me. I just need to wind down. I mean, there was days that I, I came to your place and you wanted to get into something. I'm like, can you just let me relax? You know, I need to relax. And... Um, you know, so, um, you know, that can make for distance, uh, just uh, personal issues um, going on, and then you just don't have anything left for, for the other person. Uh, how can you tell a guy you're no longer interested, especially if they're friends with mutual friends? I, don't know, I think that's more your area. Um, as far well, as a guy, I mean, just, I guess, just be straightforward. Um, you know, I don't think anybody likes to feel like they've gotten the runaround or someone's been dishonest with them. Um, certainly if you know that you're ready to start something with someone else, then, you know, having those two relationships overlap can leave a lot of resentment, you know, so have a clean break, you know, maybe even <laughs> give it a week or two or a month before you dive right into another relationship so that that person, you know, can become accustomed to not being with you. You know, as soon as you're with someone else, then, you know, they, they might start to think, oh, you know, you were already starting off with someone else while we were still together, you know, mm. so um, having a clean break. Um, but yeah, I think being straightforward and, and maybe, you know, having real um, concrete reasons of why you don't see a future, you know, I'm going in this direction and I can see you are here or going this way and I don't see long-term compatibility, you know, so um, giving a logical reason, you know, that is perhaps not like just, I really don't like you, you know, 